What is up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. You know we got that Madden 16. It's the release date, August 25th. We out here trying to wild right quick with Quincy Blunt and Daniel Taylor playing middle linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. Daniel Taylor playing running back for the Atlanta Falcons. But we out here right now. It's the first game of the season. First career game I played in Madden. And if you ain't know, this is that duo career. Same team, same time. We do all that over here. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of that. You feel me? But this game right here, man, this Madden 16 game, I played it. This is so, it was so good to like, to see this new, the new interactions with the wide receivers and the defensive backs. It made me so happy. I was like, yo, this is nice. Like, I actually saw some things. And the game tackles, they they taking steps closer to it being like the real NFL, you know what I'm saying? But there's always some, some, you know, some hate, you feel me? Some, some critiques or comments like, yeah, that aggressive catch is OP, bro. I don't know how we're going to stop that. You feel me? You could just press X to swat. It's not really that hard to swat. Some people, they going to catch it more often, like Julio Jones. It's not like it doesn't happen in the NFL. People don't get lost. Like, so I just let it happen, you feel me? If they get lost, okay. If I had a better corner, maybe not, you feel me? So it's not really something I get mad at. It's not really something I say, oh, they need to turn, tone that down. It's crazy. This catch right here was crazy. It definitely wasn't something I would see in Madden 15, you feel me? It was real nice. I had to stop. I put my controller down. I tried to hurry up, get to the instant replay so I could see it. And we looking like he came over, went down to get the ball. Knees is inbounds already, so he catches it, touchdown. It was so nice. Like it's these like little things, like the gang title and all that stuff. It just makes it like a real game to play. You feel me? It's more like the NFL each year. You feel me? Like it's consecutive each year. I believe, I hope so, and I hope it's that way. But this year, it definitely is. And I understand that there's still some stuff that needs to be fixed. Um, I really can't tell right now, though. But I know some people will know because they, they if you look for trouble, you will find it. You feel me? But some other people know. I don't really know it to the full extent right now. But you can't expect them to fix everything in one year because then what they going to do next year? So I'm happy with this game. It's going to be real fun. I haven't played Draft Champions yet. I'm about to get into Mutt, Mutt um, 16 after this, after I record this commentary or anything. And um, I might start up that safety career mode on the Jets. No fly zone out there. I don't know about that, but I have to. I've been, I've been working. I've just been, I've been playing in the play now. My offense is trash. <laughs> My defense is high. I got one run stop, and it kind of works for everything. Like passes sometimes, unless I mess up. So uh, my defense is all right right now. You feel me? I haven't played online yet, but I, I don't know. But one some things I don't like is that since they slowed it down to be more realistic, now I got to get used to to playing that way. Cause I definitely thought I was in like position to be able to get in to, to swap the pass or do something. And on this play right here, man, it's third and five. I, I was too far up, you feel me? I'm not used to that camera being so far. It's weird how the camera was. I messed up. That's my fault. But we go down 14-0. to This is not looking good for the Atlanta Falcons, you feel me? But this game is very fun. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely something new. If you say it's the same Madden as last year, you're only looking at rosters and teams. They're not going to add new teams, you feel me? It's definitely not the same Madden. So always, always looking to the positive side of stuff. And that's how you got to play Madden. I had to show me that I was jumping. Quincy Button didn't even put his arms up. But now we finally on offense. Because we got shut out like the first two draws. There was nothing to show. Now we coming back. Got a pass. Receiving catch with Daniel Taylor the third. Hankerson, Leonard Hankerson coming up with a big catch downfield. And now it seems like we got a little bit going. Right before halftime, got a minute left. We coming out, we blocking with Daniel Taylor. He passes it to Julio Jones. And Julio Jones is gone. He's gone. You feel me? That's another thing, like... It went in the replay. You're going to see Julio Jones running. It's a whole different running. Like, Julio Jones runs differently than 
the running back, Daniel Taylor. Like, who you can see the ball is like lower. He's moving his arm with the ball. Daniel Taylor holds it up tight. You feel me? Running backs hold it up tight, typically. You feel me? So it's really nice that that's even in the game. You know, I'm not sure if, if it's for everybody or not, but it's something crazy. We tried to set him up for this big hit. He ran out of bounds. He knew Quincy was there. On this play right here, we got man coverage on the running back again. DeMarco Murray, where you going? Am I too slow? Oh, no. We press the wall. Swat the ball from him. Tip drill. Interception. Bruh, after this play, I paused the game, watched the replay about 50 times. I really thought, but when it, when it was playing out, I really thought, oh, he's about to catch this. It's about to be a big game. All this stuff. Because I thought I was out of position. But Quincy Blunt speeds up like the playmaker he is with the elbow brace. He thought he was going to catch that, you know, swatting that out. Ishmael gets the pick. That was beautiful, you feel me? That was really, really, really nice. We over here getting this one after catch. Now you don't run out of bounds. We over here disrespecting people on offense. We trying to get back to who we are. Daniel Taylor, the disrespectful running back. The playmaking Quincy, but we're trying to get back to that Madden 15 level, you feel me? This is the first game, first career game I played. I'm not going to be perfect on the first one. But now it looks like we got some light, some light to end up scoring, to come back in this game. Right before the second half, got under 30 seconds left. He throws it in the middle of the field. We get that first down. Don't call a timeout, though. We end up picking a field goal after that because, you know, we can't get in the end zone. I'm only playing with Dan Taylor. So, halftime, 14 to 10. This is just how it goes. You feel me? This is a nice game. I'm, I'm going to be posting draft changes, like I said. I'm not sure if I'm going to play offline first or not. But that's another thing I don't understand right there. I clearly had him in the backfield, right? But I guess I didn't. You feel me? I guess I was on the wrong angle. He just kept running. I couldn't tackle him. I dove like five yards late. It was all good. Then I missed the hit stick, but luckily he trips over his blocker's foot. It's all good. That's two missed tackles I could have had right there. But that's my fault. I'm rusty. You feel me? I haven't played in a while. They run it again. I'm stuffing holes now. Somebody else gets the tackle. So we caused three plays right there. But we only caused two to go for like a little bit of a game. They gonna run it again. They come up. Got a gang tackle this man. DeMarco Murray is wowing right now. Over 80 yards like the announcers is saying. In the run game in this game, let me tell me, let me tell you why it's way more defense of me playing in this game than um, offense. We smack the quarterback right here, Sam Bradford. What are you doing? Um, it's way more defense because the running game is really it's tight and hard. You feel me? Like I think it's the Atlanta Falcons offensive line that's like not really that good. So all the runs and stuff is not happening. We get another sack right here. Vic Beasley is out here wilding. Um, the offensive line really not that good. So, in a run plays, the counter out of the single back ace doesn't really work that much. Um, I'm still not sure if that's the line. I don't know. But we're going to have to figure something out with running the ball because we couldn't do anything on offense. We had a result of passing a lot. Look at this man. What? Look at this. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Why, why wouldn't he go down? I don't know. You feel me? He just wanted to keep running. We wasn't trying to do anything. We trying to stop it. No. They just pushed Quincy Blunt out the way. Big hole opens up. Touchdown. Here we go again. Wide open in the middle of the field. Matt Ryan decides to throw the corner route. This pass actually got tipped and intercepted. Another tip drill, but this time for the other team. Number one doesn't have a name on the back. His jersey still. They, I don't know, but it's all good. Look at this. Eric Williams. Matt Ryan throws it. He kind of gets swatted, drops the pass, and ball goes up in the air. 26 comes up behind. Can't see it right here, but he does catch it, and that is the end of the game for us. We're going to take this L, if y'all ain't know. It's 21 to 10. We trying to make stops, but it's just not happening. It's not happening for us. Like, something has to go. We have to get better at this. They do a screen. We all over that. He doesn't pass it, but it is all good. The game is over. We took an L week one to the Eagles, but it's all going to be all right. No Kendrick Lamar.
it's gonna be good man can't wait to play this upload another video so y'all can watch it but if y'all do like this two career duo series for the atlanta falcons you know leave a like subscribe i'm definitely gonna be posting this all year like i was last year and wait for that month that draft champions and rank matches we gonna be out here but always remember in the street we trust i'm out